Chilling like a villain, got nowhere to hide, stay inside because of black and white pride. Mm hmm. If you don't know, now you know. Yo. Go show. Frick a frick a frick a word. All right. So now we're at YouTube. Um, at uh, Pop. I was going to say, now we're at YouTube. <laughs> no, actually, we're at Popular Park. And uh, this is where uh, Christopher Reddy um, died on um, in July. Uh, or was it June? It was June. June, June 24th, I think it was. And uh, people have left a few things here for him in memory. And um, it was right here. So this is Chris. We'll miss you greatly. Wishing you through strength, comfort, and healing during this difficult time. We hope from the stars you see this. And then, uh, what does that say, Tiffany? Yeah. Tiffany, love and miss you always. So, today we planted a flower for uh, Christopher Reddy. Um, and uh, we planted a flower for Kenneth Harding. These are young people um, that are dying due to gun violence. And uh, then we planted another sunflower for all the nation's people that have died from gun violence or will die from gun violence. We need to find a way to stop this. And uh, we're going to talk about, of course, youth programs and the three trees with the three rocks. But right now we're on number two. Number two tree with the number two rocks in memory of uh, Christopher. So we're going to go to Popular Park and we're going to discuss what we can do for the, um, in terms of youth development programs. Uh, the thing I have a problem with this property, if you wanted to play tennis or, you know, kick a ball, play tug of war it would be good but in terms of uh, nature activities there doesn't seem to be much that you can do here because I think if you go down into the bush I think it's just all bush I, I, I think you'd have to go in there with like with a machete and try and find a path just to get in there and I don't, you know, I, I don't... No, know. there's one path that goes around and that's it. Well, yeah, but it's a path that you follow and that's, that's it. it. Where on the other property, it's so large that you can do different things in different sections. And because you have the trees and the different types of trees and the different structures around the trees, you can build in different sections to different programs. We're here, you know, I mean, it's just one big open space. So the tree for rock number two is over here, the one that we first spotted when we got here. So we're gonna to go to this tree because this is this tree's story. You know, every tree has something to offer the community. Okay, so we're gonna take it to the trees. Right. So there's the tree. See, I think what happened was when I was a kid, I used to run around in the bush. <laughs> you know, for me, it's not the same, like this is fine, but we need, you know, children, they need to be exposed to, to, to be able to go and, and, and um, you know, just <coughs> experiment. <coughs> There's nothing, you can't go in there. It's impossible to go in there. And not only that, but it's down a hill. So it would be very hard to build in programs on a hill. You know, people don't want to be huffing and puffing up or down a hill. But this is, this is the second tree. So we got the rock with the second tree. This tree has a story like the first tree. We still have one more tree with another story. Each tree has a story to tell. Each tree has something to give back to the community in terms of programs. Um, we're not going to end gun violence and all this other stuff until we start bringing in more programs and people taking more responsibility for the choices that they make. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a side note that I want to say in terms of um, people having too many kids that they can't afford to have. And, um, you know, if we want to bring down the level of poverty, the people that are in the poverty have to remind themselves that for every child that you have, the burden and the responsibility of raising that child increases. 
and with the way the world is going now in terms of pollution, we've got radiation on the west coast, we've got Corexit on the east coast, you know, we've got oil spills in Africa, and we've got drilling going on in the Antarctic now, and we don't know what's going to happen with that. And uh, that's not including all the other things that go on on this planet. Uh, people need to stop and think about, you know, what they're bringing these children in, in, into when they're when they're giving birth to them, especially in multiples. So there is no color relation, brown, white, black. It does not matter. People have to start taking responsibility, and we need to bring in more programs for the children that are here. And we need to build them around the stories of the trees because each tree has something to offer and we shouldn't we shouldn't favor one tree over the other tree. I think that's what I'm trying that's why I'm trying to use the trees as the example. You know, what tree do we favor? Do we favor this tree that maybe has less to offer than the other tree that seems to have more to offer, but we're neglecting that tree? And then when I take you to the third tree, you'll find that there's problems with that tree and around that tree as well. So we gotta find a balance in there. So this is the second tree, the second story, the second, the second program development, and we don't know where it's going to go. So this is all I wanted to say. So give me the umbrella. All right. It's on? It's on. Okay. All right. Chilling like a villain, got nowhere to hide. Stay inside because black and white pride. Mm-hmm. If you don't know, now you know. Mm-hmm.